Let's prepare ourselves for uh, the next quiz, quiz 7, on inclusion-exclusion. This is part of 2.2. It's really not so hard. Just uh, follow with me what it needs to be done. And it, the only, perhaps, obstacle you might say is it's they are all kind of word problems. And I know that's not your favorite uh, math, math problem, if you already have any of those. But it's something you... It's not so hard to figure it out. So I'm going to give you uh, basically one example with a couple of things in it. So, okay, let's say we, we are playing some some game like, I don't know, soccer or something like that, and we are building a blue team. So the coach says, okay, guys, if you want to be on the blue team, you need to wear something blue. Either you, you have to have blue socks or a blue shirt. So that, that we can recognize everybody from our own team, right? You don't want to take the ball away from your own teammates and stuff like that. Okay, so you can you can choose whatever you want to wear, blue socks, blue shirts. Okay, so everybody goes change and, and, and wears things. And so it turns out that um, seven, seven players have uh, blue socks, wear blue socks, uh, eight players uh, decide to wear blue shirts but some of them say I'm really committed to the blue team and so I three of them wear both okay there was no reason why they couldn't wear both, both right okay so that's the situation and so the question now is how many people on the team how many players on the blue team And it's extremely simple to do. We have to make sets. That's the one thing. It's about sets, right? So we, we can uh, make these sets into... Uh, it is a bit annoying that the word socks and shirts. That both starts with an S. So I'm going to say T-shirts. Okay? Then there's a T. So S is the, 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 the players with blue socks. That's blue sock wearers. And then T is the blue T-shirts. Wearers. And so what is the cardinality of these sets? That's where it all comes down. Well, it's given that there are seven that have blue socks, there are eight that have blue um, shirts, t-shirts. And so what, what, how many players on the team? Well, you have to be on the blue team, you have to wear one of those. So it is the union. The, that will be the blue team, right? The ones that are wearing blue socks or the ones that are wearing uh, blue shirts all these that's the blue team that's how you figure out when they are playing against they're going to play against the red team of course and the red team is going to wear whatever they decide to wear but at least the blue guys can be disc, uh, uh, recognized that way so that's and then the formula is and this is the whole point it's the inclusion exclusion formula that we have to calculate the number of players in, in the, the first set, the number of elements in the, first, in the second set. But if we counted just both of them, then we double count the ones that are in both. Now that's what, what we have to figure out here. So how many people are, how many players are in both? Well, it's told, we've been told there are three of them that are wearing, well, sorry, wear both. They are not t shirts and they're not socks, they wear both. Okay, so that's three. So we get seven plus eight minus three, that is twelve, and that's the answer. Now let's let's make it a little bit more fun and say, okay, so they play against the red team and there are in the game, so in the red blue game. There are um, 22 players on the field. So how many players are in the red team? So let's call R the red team, guys. R is the red team. Okay, now we know that S union T is our blue guys, right? So we're not going to give a new name to that set. I could call it B and say that B is S union T. So if you want, okay, I'll do that. B is the blue team. 
and we know already that the blue team is, well, they either have blue socks or they have blue t-shirts or perhaps both. So that's the blue team. But, and we know how many elements, how many there are. We know that there, so we know that B is 12. That's already uh, something that we calculated. So what is uh, R here? Well, do we know that? Well, no, we did not, there's no information about the red. What, so what do we have? We know that there are 22 players. What is this? Well, there's a red-blue game, so there are only red and blue players on the, on the game, on, on the field, right? So we know that the total number, so B union R, uh, red and blue, right? In total, there are 22. So now we can use, again, uh, the inclusion-exclusion uh, principle or formula. But in this, in this case, so sometimes we need to calculate this, but now we have the information on the union, perhaps we get the information of something else. Okay, let's figure it out. So this is the, by the general formula, the number of elements in the first set, the number of elements in the second set, minus the number of elements in both. Okay. What do we know? We know that this is 22, so 22 is equal to B, that is 12, plus the red sets, we don't know yet. Oh, but there's another thing we don't know. Do we know this? Yes, of course we know that, because it's a fair game, nobody wants to pretend that he's playing for one team and then plays for the other game, so it's you're either blue or red. So what we have here is an, uh, a situation that we had called in the, te in, in the lecture a disjoint sets. These are disjoint sets. And in this case, of course, there is, when you have a disjoint set, this is just zero. So this is just zero, and there's not there. And therefore, we have enough information. So this equation tells us now that we have 10 equals R. So there are 10 red players in the world. They're a little bit in a disadvantage. Okay, so I always hope that the blues are, I'm always for the blue guys, right? All right, you know what I'm talking about, I hope. Okay, so, all right, so this is... Um, two applications of this inclusion-exclusion, what you see is it's this is the basic formula and then you have information on three of them and that allows you to count it the fourth one. That's basically how a problem on uh, inclusion-exclusion works. All right.